Hello and welcome everybody to another Let's Talk About the Hunter and I'm happy to uh, introduce to you Billy the Crayon. Um, he's with us today on the show and um, say hi to the folks. Hi peoples, Billy the Crayon here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really happy you had the time to make this happen and um, yeah it's the second uh, one that we do and uh, I s think there's still a lot of uh, things left to talk about um, first of one all I, I I'd one like thing I'd like to one thing I'd like to say just uh, right off the just right at the start is that uh, I really I gotta respect yeah uh, your uh, your videos with the recurve bow I, I can't do it <laughs> For the life of me, I, I'm, I'm too I'm too much of a compound bow fan myself. Okay, <laughs> thanks for this. I mean, <laughs> um, it was really hard. I was uh, already thinking um, I'm going to miss a lot with it because that was lucky in that episode that you will probably talk about. I was really lucky, and I still missed one <laughs> that I thought of. I I had it. Yeah. Hit. Yeah, and um, to uh to come back to um, Billy the Crayon is, is the guy that um, I found his videos first actually on YouTube when I was looking after some advice about the game because this guy is, uh, is um, playing this game for a very long time and uh, he was also one of the first people um, who started doing serious let's plays about it and also very famous your uh, broadcasts your live broadcasts so um, <laughs> thanks for that. Um, that really encouraged me to uh, start something of my own. And um, actually, I'd like to know from you, how did you find the game? Well, with me, I was just looking for a hunting simulator one day. It was about a year ago, around a year ago today, actually, uh, that I was just searching online for... A hunting game to play just for some reason I think at the time they were just releasing one of the uh, Cabela's uh, like big game hunter and I wanted to check that out uh, just to see what it was about and everything and this um, I, I watched this really uh, it, it was just it was uh, uh, I don't have anything against the guy or anything but it was a really bad um, uh, review of it okay. and he basically called it a uh, this he says uh, Cabela's big ca big game hunter is a hunting simulator <laughs> and <laughs> I, I I just couldn't see it I, I don't see how shooting a bunch of like uh, th they showed at one part he basically walked through this valley and he stopped and there was a giant herd of gazelles just <laughs> running across and you're just shooting as many as you can that yeah. that's not hunting to me but luckily uh, I first discovered the hunter when there was one comment in that video that mentioned uh, the game the hunter and it is like the only like real modern uh, uh, hunting simulator so I YouTube that and googled it and everything found out found the website for it and I was hooked from there <laughs> and that's when I started making my videos a lot of my uh, original videos like the first videos on the game are more of me just discovering it yeah and just learning about uh, all these different animals and how to hunt and all that so but, so did you use uh, the tool live streaming also already then um, I, I done quite a bit of my live streaming on Twitch for the Hunter. Yes. Uh, but then more recently, just a few months ago, I was I had full live streaming, like 780p or 720p live streaming enabled on my YouTube channel. So I moved all my live streaming to YouTube just to keep everything in the one place. Yeah, which is great actually. And um, 
now I have to look on my little book here um, because uh, I wrote down a little bit what we are going to talk about and one thing that we both both agreed on talking about was um, newbie things we did <laughs> <laughs> when yes. we first started um, to play this game so d who, do you want to start telling something? Uh, well, uh, I could tell you plenty of stories of uh, getting lost while tracking animals. Uh, at first, I, d I wasn't sure what the uh, the differences between the solid orbs and the outline, <laughs> like the uh, orbs that like just had an outline. Yeah. Uh, and I was just randomly uh, picking like different tracks and stuff, and then I I'd finally uh, got that down, and then. Uh, one of the big frustrations that I have is where an animal will, like, you'll be tracking an animal, and then it'll circle around and go back over the same tracks from before, and you're just going in circles yeah. following the same <laughs> tracks. And <it's laughs> I think that's something we all um, uh, came across. And um, we are also uh, um, talking about this because... Um, we do know that everybody that is uh, who is starting playing this game has to go um, has has to go through this learning curve, which is pretty mm -hmm. tough in the beginning. And once you once you uh, get over it, then you think, "Wow, why was I not finding any more animals before that?" But that's just something that has to click, kind of. And we yes. we just wanted to mention that all of us um, had to go through this. And uh, my funny story about that is that, um, well, when I started, it was in 2009. So it's quite a long time ago. And at that time, the reserve for the guests was uh, Whiteheart Island. And I think the mission is oh, okay. still... is. I think the mission could be still there where you have to... Um, discover the hunting reserve and go to several checkpoints kind of <laughs> yeah you need to go like right down <laughs> to the middle and like to the lake in the middle and then to the uh, to the lodge on the other side yeah <laughs> so at the first time you know on, on Whiteheart you have two lodges and it's actually different um, islands kind of so mm -hmm. the first thing I did wrong was I started at the f at the wrong starting point all the time not at the causeway but <laughs> i started at the at the at the other lodge yeah and <laughs> then i thought hey this is a mission you only got to walk there and look around and i came across three really nice bucks and i didn't dare to do anything <laughs> you know i could have shot them it would still be okay for the mission but <laughs> i didn't dare to uh, <laughs> to do anything and later when i found out that it would have been no problem to shoot them i was like okay let's go the same way and i'll find one and i did not find one until at least two weeks after i started up or one and a half week or something so i tried i tried that uh, that mission um about I had to I did it about ten times. <laughs> I failed it each time because I would just randomly go after a new animal, a coyote or <laughs> something like that. I I'd go after the animal and, you and then I, the... I completely forget about it. <laughs> and then I'd just lose my progress when I quit and then I'd have to go back and start the whole thing over again. <laughs> oh well that's uh something that everybody has to uh, go through I think yeah a, a big point I'd like to make too since we're still talking about like making uh, uh, like new player mistakes and stuff like that is uh, uh, don't run True. running is uh, is bad in this game no running unless, <laughs> unless, unless you're running away from a bear or a moose that's charging at you <laughs> then, then you won't be fast run. enough with running. <laughs> oh, you, can, you can sometimes, sometimes dodge them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's um, it's usually a death sentence once you <laughs> once you uh, mess with one of them. Okay. Cool. So uh, once we are talking about um, the beginning, we I think we can all remember how fascinating that was to first set foot in this um, awesome uh, 
designed game. So uh, I would like oh, yeah. to know what nowadays, after you have lots of experience about it, uh, what what does fascinate you the most about this game? Uh, just how realistic the setting is and the fact that it was a hunting game where it was like a, a wide open world and you could go anywhere you could hunt any animal that you wanted and it was just it was a giant sandbox yeah. and i absolutely loved that it was exactly what i was looking for in a hunting game a, a game where uh you you don't just uh, get set down and there's an animal right in front of you or just over the hill in front of you or nothing. You have to go out and you have to track an animal down and hunt it. <laughs> yeah, that's really... Um, I mean, that's basically the same that I would say about it. Um, and of course, all the, the scenery especially, which is uh, just amazing. Oh, yeah. The world is absolutely stunning. Uh, especially for uh, I, I was surprised that I've never seen this game anywhere else and yeah. neither has most of my friends like anybody that I uh, know of I, I asked I tell them I'm playing this new hunting game uh, it's like really awesome and, and the first thing they say is oh you mean that uh, Cabela's game it's like no <laughs> <laughs> they, they'd never heard of the hunter before and uh, I that's part of the reason I'm uh, trying to put videos up every now and then of the game is to give more exposure to the game. Okay, yeah, that's actually my intention too. And um, you just mentioned that um, it's a it's a huge uh, sandbox kind of game. Mm -hmm. So obviously, there's a lot of styles how you can play it, right? Yes, so, absolutely. Uh, so what's your style? What 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 kind of hunter are you? Uh, I tend to favor the compound bow. It's my absolute favorite weapon in the game. And that forces you to try to get close to an animal. So I tend to do a lot of stalking and stuff like that. I, I might uh, call an animal over and then I try to shift around to another spot so that I can peg it in the side kind of a thing. Um, lately, I've, I've just been uh, messing around a little more with things like tree stands okay. and stuff like that. Um, so uh, I think that's one of the big parts about it too, especially since they um, updated the game to where animals will try to find a water source and a food source, stuff like that. Yeah. That's, that's when I really started uh, messing around with tree stands on Red Feather. Because uh, you, know, you, you just try to put up that tree stand in the right spot, and sometimes they'll uh, um, you, you'll usually find something uh, around the area of the tree yeah. stand. So yeah, that's something so. I also learned. Um, I mean, I knew about that um, these uh, feeding and drinking patterns that are in the game, but I, I never had the time to to try it too much um, with it. But from my last uh, talk I had with uh, Aussie Big Game, um, since then I at least since then I know um, that this can really be massively uh, effective. So yeah. Another thing I'm I'm starting to do too is I'll try to keep a tree stand or ground blind in my uh, backpack. Yeah, me too. Uh, just so just so I can maybe try to use it on the fly. Exactly. Uh, but. My fear there, the reason why I haven't been doing it too much is because of the fact that uh, it, when you're putting it up, you can spook a uh, animals that are around. True. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess you can get pretty close without spooking them. So Yeah, that's true. And um, so uh, this game, as we all know, is in constant um, development mm -hmm. as we are paying members. Um, this kind of concept is possible. So, um, what do you uh, see the game going to in future? I mean, there's not so many games you can compare it to. It's a niche game, and um, maybe you have some thoughts where you see the hunter going to. Well, uh, as far as up 
update, updating and developing and stuff like that. One of the big things that I think, uh, from, from what I'm seeing, uh, that they are currently like what they've recently, uh, developed and updated and stuff like that is, and, uh, is animal AI and animal behavior, mm-hmm. uh, things like that. Um, that's, uh, that's a huge thing because you want, you want the animals to behave as realistic as possible, which is one of the things that this game, in my opinion, is amazing with is realism. And so, so they're trying, they, they seem to be trying more and more to make the game, uh, more realistic by incorporating more animal behavior. Okay. Um. And stuff like that, making the making them react more with the environment, uh, stuff like that. Um, a lot of people would like to see uh, multiplayer in the game, and that's kind of a, uh, kind of a controversial thing, like yeah. for me, just because like I do want to see multiplayer in this, but it has to be done right because mm. the uh, potential for trolling in the hunter is pretty high yeah like when you, um if you get in a game with the wrong person and they're just you're there trying to stalk an animal and they're there shooting a shotgun away around you like it's just <laughs> yeah i think we uh those of us who played uh, deer hunter 2005 which was a great game by the way uh, i think we all know about this issue <laughs> because uh they're on the multiplayer it was also often the case but um, yeah so that's also something I hope I hope it will be done sometime yep. <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> yes and um, yes so um, there is still something I'd like to know about the current stuff that we have for the game I mean you're playing for a while I've, I've, I can imagine you saw quite some updates and new mm-hmm. things arriving so uh, what of the current content that we have is um, in your opinion in in the most need of uh, of a tweak or changing um well uh, the biggest thing that i think they need to work on as far as changing or like tweaking and stuff like that is competitions uh, just because like with the competition system right now uh, a lot of people favor the idea of, uh, like, they'll find a spot where they usually find an animal. Like, let's say they're they're on a whitetail competition. Uh, they they people will know pretty much where to find whitetails on a specific map. They'll set a tent down, and then they will enter the they will uh, join a game on that tent and search for a white tail uh, shoot whatever they can and then once uh, the animals are all like gone or they don't find one then they'll quit the game restart and they okay. do that like 10 times until they actually get a decent scoring animal uh, and they're the ones that usually win the competition because they have better odds because they're just respawning in that same spot over and over again and like just doing these small like 10 20 minute games it's kind of in my opinion a little bit of like uh, an exploit but mm. it's not really it's not something that's like a bannable offense or anything no. um so i think they need to try to change it so that uh that behavior is not effective or like something like that because uh, uh, right now a lot of people are complaining uh, about that okay with with me I play once every so often uh, I don't have a, like a lot of time uh, to play the hunter or to do like a competition so what I will do uh, so what I would like to see actually is kind of like the way they have the uh, the bears uh, bait barrels set up yeah because with the bait barrels uh, you fill them up and for a few days uh, bears will be right at those barrels like quite often yeah. you'll, you'll see them there 
And but after you shoot an animal at one, then they don't like to come around for a while. And I'd, I'd like to see that <laughs> um, that kind of be behavior for for like uh, all the areas. Uh. Yeah, so if you leave the game and come back in, you're not gonna have a bunch of white tails spawn on you, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. I I think that would really work out well for competitions, but it's it, like I said, it's it's something that um, I'd like to see them work on. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure how they could fix it. <laughs> uh, it's something I I sure I sure wouldn't want to uh, have to try to problem solve that, but. <laughs> Okay, so that's interesting because um, um, you guys might also know that I myself um, am not so much taking part in competitions just yet because I didn't feel like it uh, until now. Uh, that might also change, but I, until now, not. So I think that what you just explained to us was maybe the... I once read on the forum something about spawn webbing or something. <laughs> So maybe it was that was what uh, what people are. I, I never know what it knew what it uh, was uh, describing. So um, that's definitely something they could think of uh, changing something there. Mm -hmm. And um, as talking of the forums, um, are you uh, active in the community? Like. Um, I know you are active because you are making YouTube videos and you do live well, broadcasts, yeah. but um, like most of the um, most of the uh, community that watches Hunter videos on YouTube, uh, they know of me and, and my videos and everything. So uh, I have a presence on YouTube, definitely. Uh, on the forums, I'm not as active on, but I go on and I'll uh, post some messages here and there, re reply to some posts. And stuff like that, but I'm not uh, I'm not extremely active on the forums. Okay, so um, as it goes uh, for names, <laughs> like there's several things that could be different. Uh, for example, the in-game name, the forum name, and the YouTube name. So how is that on on your <laughs> side? You see, I have this luck where. Uh, well, it's not really luck. I kind of designed it that way. The name Billy the Crayon is not a common username. Okay. So I could pretty much go into anywhere and use Billy the Crayon, and I can almost guarantee that it'll be there. So I use that for everything. Okay, that's so. that's easy then. That's nice. Um, yeah. So for myself, actually only on YouTube, the name was gone, but I just uh, added uh, 86 to it and yeah. that's <laughs> that was all. So um, what do you think um, of the way the hunter is dealing the community? I think we talked about it already a little bit, but um, you might be able to compare it to uh, other experience you experiences you had with other games. Like how, how the community is reacting to the game and stuff. No, how how the developers are interacting or or how oh, they yes. how they how they deal with all that community side stuff. Uh, yeah, I think they're uh, I think they're pretty good. Uh, the main thing that uh, developers need to do today is uh, communicate with their uh, fans and with their community. And I think they do a pretty good job of that. Every now and then I'll see some devs responding to some of the suggestions and stuff like that. And they're really active in, on the forums, especially. Uh, and you'll see them responding just, just to say hi. <laughs> yeah, that's and cool, yeah. <laughs> stuff like that. As well, like, uh, I'm, I actually... Uh, uh, talk to one of the devs on Skype and stuff like that, and uh, he checks out my uh, my live streams every now and then. Uh, Na Outdoors. Oh yeah, we all know uh, him. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a pretty good uh, a pretty good relationship with him. We'll we'll chat every now and then. Oh, that's cool. That's uh, something special then. And um, yeah, uh, also something about the community. What I would like you to um, t 
tell our viewers here is about that one um, competition that is about uh, video editing or video making. Yes. Uh. So we had a little chat about this before we started to record this and uh, we decided that uh, we should let you know about that here. Yeah, definitely. Um, they have a competition right now. It's going on until January 7th. And basically it's a competition for uh, YouTubers uh, or anybody that uh, like does any video editing, stuff like that. Um, they want people to make a tutorial video on mule deer, on hunting a mule deer, uh, about five, seven minutes, uh, something like that for video length. Or, I think they said three to five minute yeah, video length. I think so, yes. Yeah. Which is pretty but, tough, um, but... <laughs> it, it's, it's tough. There's a lot of information. I, I could go on forever about uh, hunting a deer. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, um, you and I are definitely going to make some videos for it. Uh, the grand prize, uh, they're giving away 5,000 uh, like, uh, in-game uh, dollars, that the EM credits, I think yes, it is. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, which is... So it's uh, totally worth quite it, a yeah. Bit. Yeah, that's, that's like, uh, what, like... Fifty dollars of yeah in game I think so yes yeah. in game credits so uh, the, the store credits yeah that's uh, that's pretty good or you can also get a uh, I believe it's the Pathfinder uh, subscription yeah. which is pretty good though I I'd always recommend the Trail Runner which is a little bit more but uh, you get a lot of awesome stuff in yeah. that some nice equipment yeah. as well yeah. And um, yeah, that's also something um, you guys should really think about it because um, you can do this uh, competition even if you are still uh, a guest and not a member because everybody can hunt mule deer. So uh, this yep. competition is actually open to everybody that has a guest account or a membership account. So um, yeah, I think with this um, we rounded it out quite nicely. Mm -hmm. And um, is there maybe something you uh, would like to say to your people on YouTube or whatever? <laughs> uh, yeah, for anyone watching from uh, my YouTube channel, check out Pratsy's videos. <laughs> uh, I have him on my uh, in my sub box on my channel as well. Uh, there will be a link to this to his channel from my video uh, he does awesome high definition like good audio quality uh, videos of the hunter and he's very dedicated to it he does them a lot more often than me he, like, how often do you put out a video well it actually changed um, lately um, before I, I think a month back or so it was um, like, like one every week or every two weeks sometimes even but now it's um, something like three four videos per week so uh, yeah so I that, picked that's it up uh, very <laughs> since I have a better internet provider with a better upload <laughs> um, I can do some some more videos and I want to say the same about Billy the crayon um, go check out his channel he has uh, super nice um, the hunter content also I recommend his live uh, broadcast that's something really um, special and um, unique I would say and um, he also has uh, some other let's plays um, but um, I think that the, the, the kind of games uh, I think if you like s simulations like the hunter you could probably also like other stuff uh, he is doing you are more the open world and sandbox uh, kind of <laughs> player, right? You don't like so yeah, strict like story stories you have, have to follow. You like to uh, yeah. to go a little creative on your gaming. Mo most of my Let's Plays and stuff like that, I try to look for uh, gaming that's a little more different or alternative from what we're used to seeing. 
So you're not going to see Call of Duty content <laughs> or Minecraft or yeah. something like that on my channel. I play uh, I play games like Mountain Blade Warband, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably didn't hear about it. But um, and when I'm playing Skyrim, I try to have like a role play, kind of a light role play with it, where I uh, try to basically um, give the a backstory and and a certain attitude, uh, behavior, uh, stuff like that that my character will do. Uh, just to try to keep it consistent and keep it like more of a uh, like I'm creating a story for you guys kind of a thing. Okay, guys, so uh, check it out, and um, there will be also some links uh, in the descriptions. And um, yes, so uh, there is only to say as always, happy hunting to you. Definitely, have a good one.